Hey guys, how's it going? Now, while creating an Android app, the most important thing is the user interface, which we can see right here. And what you must have noticed while designing a user interface or a layout for your app, what you must have noticed is that when you flip your app to the landscape mode, the user interface that you designed was just out of place or maybe just jumbled up and disorderly and wasn't what you expected. So this difference arises because you designed your app in the portrait mode in Android Studio. However, when you flip to the landscape mode, the objects that is the like image view, the text view that you use just go out of bounds or go out of place and become disorderly when switching to the landscape mode. Now, the best way to avoid this mishap or this problem of the views getting garbled up when you switch your orientation of the mobile phone is to use an alternate mode for your or an alternate layout for your landscape mode and use a different layout for your portrait mode. Now, how to create an alternate layout for your uh, landscape mode is what this video is quite about. So, let's head over to that. So, to create an alternate layout, uh, landscape layout for your app, just go to this icon that you can see right here and then click on Create Landscape Variation. Now, what this will do is it will create an alternative XML file for your app. As you can see, we already had an activity full screen.xml. If you go to the text mode, you can see all the text associated with that with that. And then when you did this, then what you did was create an a landscape variation of your layout. So now the best part is that now you can edit your landscape variation without um, getting without disturbing your port, uh, your app in the portrait mode and that's um, pretty amazing so what i can see is that in the portrait mode i had my picture and then i have some text below it while in the landscape mode the text is going behind the picture and maybe i would like the picture to go towards the right in the landscape mode so I can just set that and then I can drag the text towards the left or the upper corner or maybe in the center so now this doesn't you know um, this doesn't affect the portrait mode, the portrait orientation of the app the layout in the portrait orientation however whenever the user flips their phone and then they will be offered this landscape variation of your app. So that's how you do it, pretty easy, right? And however, if you are, I did, I did this using the Android Studio IDE, and in case you are using another IDE like Eclipse, then, and if they don't have this option of creating uh, an, a landscape variation, then what you can do is you can go to the rest folder of your app and then to the and uh, okay let me just show you okay so open your android projects and then your application and in that click on app then go to src then main then rest and then you can see that since I already created a landscape variation, I have this folder right here that is called layout-land. However, if you don't do this, then uh, originally your rest folder right here would have only this layout folder which would contain the XML file that defines the layout of your activity. And however, to create a landscape variation, just create another folder called layout-land which I have already created using my Android Studio. And in that place the same XML file that was in your layout folder and then just edit that using your IDE to and that would be a landscape variation well that's it I hope this video was of some help to you
guys who are looking to develop Android apps. I'm myself quite a beginner in this. So thumbs up. And if you have any other questions or doubts, don't forget to leave them in the comment section down below. And don't forget to, to like the video if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel, because why not?